Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I have Taurus reading up on the board now. Um, so this is for Taurus for the month of February. Is anyone who has Taurus placements in their chart, whether it be moon, rising, sun, or Venus, okay? Anywhere where you have Taurus located, this reading is for you. This is also for a cross watcher. Maybe there's a message for you. Remember, this is for entertainment purposes. Um, tarots usually reflect on the energy that's going on right now. They can help you decide to make different choices so it doesn't end up the way the tarot read has it or uh, just focusing on different areas that you need to work on, okay? So Taurus, for your energy for the month of February, I get the Page of Spears. And the Page of Spears is someone who has his, turn, his back turned to a situation, a person, or thing. They're not focusing on the situation. They're looking up to the sky. They're looking at that distant bird or really not focus on what's going on around them all right then you have the six of coins it's almost like you're giving to someone or you're providing financial assistance to others but in a way to manipulate them so you find you're providing financial assistance to manipulate someone here then you have the Eight of Cups in reverse, and this is just stagnant energy. Nothing is open. You're not sure of where you're going. You're in the dark. You're not sure what decisions to take. You have a lot of things that you need to work on, but you're not facing them. So you have Eight of Cups here in reverse. Then you have the Page of Cups in reverse, and this is someone who you're trying to focus on something, but it's a page. And it's in reverse. It's almost like the energy is stagnant. You're not focusing clearly. You're not understanding the situation. Or you're ignoring the situation because you don't want to face it for what it's for. I see the three of pentacles in reverse. And that means that you're not stable at home. Your stability, you can't reach it. You're trying to be stable, but you're not maintaining that stability because you're not facing what you need to face to bring that stability to your home, place, situation, or your relationship. Then you have the Five of Cups, and Five of Cups is walking away and not seeing the other two cups. So Five of Cups is actually good because Five of Cups means that you're gonna turn around and look at each and everything and decide what you wanna come, what you wanna do. You have the Four of Swords in reverse, meaning you're not taking time to connect to the spirit, you're not taking time to meditate, you're not taking time to really um, think things through before you come out with a decision. So you're being kind of like, you're just coming up with your decisions right away and not really focusing clearly on the situation. Even though you have the five of cups in reverse here, you decided to focus on something, but you're not seeing it clearly for what it is. Then I did the fairy, fairy oracles for you and I got four cards and I kept them. I did not want to keep them because I usually don't keep so many fairy oracles. But the first card is you have a manipulator amongst yourself. Or you're maybe you're the one manipulating persons, places, or things. Or there's someone in your own situation trying to manipulate you. You have a connection to this, to this person. You are sharing a child do you have a child but this person is not being clear nor are you being clear to the person then you came up with the stork so i'm not sure if you're gonna have a child or you're gonna come out pregnant or maybe an idea is gonna come up where you can fix the situation but you have the stork here so i'm not sure um at the end of the deck you have the devil there's a manipulator amongst this there's something not being clear there's something not being concise or either you're not being clear or the other persons are not being clear and there's a lot of manipulation going on you have the knight of cups in reverse it is stagnant energy unless people become clear about what their intentions are and you become clear about what your intentions are then you have 22 for the fairies and this is like not knowing which way to go. She has several paths, but she's looking at the paths, but she's not making the choice, the right choice. And there's a moon here and there's a sun. So either you go the wrong way or you go the right way, 
but you're stuck stagnant because you're not looking at things clearly and there's a manipulator or there's more than one manipulator and the devil is here because uh, people are manipulating each other and the situation is not getting rectified and it's going to be unbalanced until you rectify the family or home life. It has to deal with home life. It has to deal with family. You need to face the facts, fix the situation and make sure everyone is clear. That was your reading for the month of February. I hope it resonated with you. I'm going to go ahead and grab an oracle card so that spirit can give you guidance in regards to the situation. Um, it's about focusing on your family life and bringing it back to balance. It is unbalanced right now. And it's caused by more than one person making it unbalanced and people lying to each other. All right, let's see what we got. One card, please. Angel guides, spirit guides, ancestor guides, my guides. One card for the sign of Taurus for the month of February. What should they focus on spiritually? Okay, we got one card. We got second ray of wisdom. This is a person here. There's an angel behind her. She's opening up. She's connecting to spirit. Um, she's getting that balance she needs to make a decision. Okay, so connecting to the divine will bring you that balance. I'm going to read what second ray of light means for you so that you can understand it. Second ray of wisdom says, The ray of wisdom is a consciousness of loving wisdom straight from the heart of the universe. It amplifies the magnetic power of attraction, empowering you to pull into your life all that is needed for your life's work. It brings the opportunity to heal, restore, and understand the power of love and the light of ancient wisdom. The spiritual master known as Buddha is with you now to help you fully receive and integrate the blessings of the ray of light from the universe. Um, so really connecting to... Um, Spirit, opening up that intellectual part of yourself in spirituality and being honest and forthright because Buddha was honest and forthright and Buddha was honest with everyone. So being honest and forthright, no manipulation and making sure that the people around you are not manipulating you either so that you can balance your home life. So that was your reading for the month of February. I hope it resonated with you. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Thanks for listening. And have a good month of February. Bye-bye.